Hey guys, I know myself here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at some hidden iPhone tricks that you probably did not know exist. Now these are going to be some brand new iPhone tricks. Now some of these can also be found on previous versions of iOS, but I have some really cool new ones in this video that I think you'll find very useful and enjoy using on your iPhone. Now first let's start with messages and email. So let's say you want to multi-select messages to delete instead of tapping and holding on a particular message thread, clicking more and then selecting the text. On iOS 13, you can tap and hold with two fingers and select the actual message threads that you want to delete on any conversation and simply delete. It's a lot quicker, it's a lot faster. This also works in email, so two finger tap and hold, swipe down, and this will allow you to select any email or message thread to delete it instantly. It's a lot easier, a lot faster, and I think you're gonna enjoy using this one, especially in emails. Now let's talk about copy and paste. So let's say you're on a website. By the way, this is my website. If you want the wallpapers that I use on my videos, they will all be found in the description down below, the link to my website, so you can download any of these wallpapers. But let me show you how to copy and paste with three finger gestures on iOS 13. So let's say you select a portion of a text just like that, three finger tap, spread, that'll copy. You see the copy right there, you can click on copy if you want. Go back into notes here, click and tap. Once you see the cursor, three finger tap, you can paste it just like so. You can click back by clicking on the menu, but again, three finger tap, spread out, and it will actually paste this. Now another useful tip is the cursor within the keyboard. You can now grab it and move it around to any portion of the text. Now before, this was done by pressing and holding on the keyboard, but we can no longer do that because we now have the swipe keyboard, right? So what we can do here is actually grab the cursor and move it around so you can edit text. I know a lot of users have been asking about this one. It is as simple as that. Now this next one has to do with screenshots. Now many users know that you can simply take a screenshot by holding the power and volume up, pressing on both, and boom, you take a screenshot. But if you tap and hold on the actual screenshot, you get actual sharing option menus. You get other options and menus when you tap and hold on this screenshot. Now another cool trick about screenshots is you can take an entire page screenshot, not only a portion of the page. So this website is a very long one. Again, this is my website. You see it's a very, very long website. What if I wanna take a screenshot of the entire page? Well, simply take a screenshot, tap into the actual screenshot, and you'll see the option of full page. Believe it or not, not a lot of users know this option exists. This allows you to actually take a screenshot of an entire web page directly on your iPhone. Next, I wanna talk about calls on other devices. If you're anything like me, you probably own an iPhone, an iPad, and maybe you own a Mac as well. Now, these devices, as they're near you in your home, if they're connected to the same Wi-Fi network, you can send phone calls to these devices because they're near you, so you don't have to do anything. Any device that's connected to the same iCloud account and the same Wi-Fi network in your home will actually receive calls and texts if you allow them to. If you don't want that to happen, you don't want all your devices ringing at the same same time when an incoming call comes in, whether it's FaceTime or a cell call, all you have to do is go into phone. Under phone, you'll see the option right here that says call on other devices. You can actually turn this off. Right here, I have all of these devices sitting around the house. If an incoming call comes in at FaceTime, they will all ring. But this was an option someone was asking me about, and that is how you turn phone calls off on other devices near you that are connected to the same iCloud and Wi-Fi in your home. Now this next one has to do with the camera. Now on my previous uh, iPhone tricks video, if you wanna watch that, links will be in the description. I showed you how to press and hold on the photos option to start capturing video quickly, lock it into place, and it'll continue capturing video. And many of you guys said, well, how do you take burst photos? Because with previous versions of iOS, you had to tap and hold to take a burst photo, but in this new version of iOS, it starts capturing video. So what you do is you tap and hold and take it over to the left. So tap and hold to the left, the, right there, it's taking burst photos. So let's go ahead and do that again. Burst photos, quick, tap and hold, move to the left. You have to be quick, so tap and hold to the left. There we go. Start taking burst photos on the latest iOS 13.2. And last but not least, I wanna talk about dark mode. Many users have asked me, how do I get a clean dark mode in settings without the grade shading around the menu? So a complete clean dark mode for settings. And I'm gonna show you how to do that now under accessibilities, display, 
Right here we have reduce white point. So if you turn that on, depending on the percentage that you set it to, this will actually remove the actual background, the actual gray blur that you get with dark mode. So I'd like to keep it at 25. This gives you an entirely clean and dark mode experience in settings. Let me put the brightness up there so you can see. So again, accessibilities, display, and then reduce white point. I like to keep it at around 25%. That does the job well for me. And now you get a cleaner dark mode. So if you put the brightness down, you see how it gets a little darker and so on. So they're a complete dark mode experience pretty much for settings. I know a lot of you guys were asking about this one. The slightly darker you make it, the darker the grids actually get and start disappearing in the settings application. And these are some of the settings and features and options in iOS 13 on your iPhone that you probably did not know exist. These tricks are really cool. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. If you like videos like this, be sure to click the like button. Make sure to subscribe because I have much more videos coming your way very similar to this one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.